So it's not just New Orleans, the Mississippi Delta, or the Georgia Sea Islands. Voodoo is practiced throughout the eastern United States, including parts of Florida, Alabama, and South Carolina. Some people say this strange mixture of African spiritualism and Christian mysticism takes place even here in eastern North Carolina. Although voodoo may not be a mainstream religion in America, it is still widely practiced, especially in this part of the country. And that concludes my report on voodoo. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. Thanks. Thank you, Brittany, for that enlightening report. Any questions? <laughs> Thanks. And thank you, Dr. Simeon. Next week, we'll begin our study of witchcraft in North America. A fascinating subject, I must say. Now, don't forget, the outlines for the term papers are due next week. That's all I got. I'll see you next week. Nice report, Brittany. Thanks. So are you coming to the smoker tonight? Some of the girls really like to meet you. Oh yeah, I'll be there. We know you're Gamma Legacy. Your mom was homecoming queen, wasn't she? Yep, good old mom. You might look at other sororities, but we're always looking for girls at the campus. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll see you tonight. So, oh, we know your mom was in the class of 84. You're a game of legacy? Yeah, good old mom. She was a dish back in the day. So, what's your major, Brittany? Mass comm. I'm the new news anchor for the TV show. Wow, they must be impressed you being a freshman and all. Well... So, what kind of extracurricular activities are you interested in? Well, um... There's an extracurricular activity. Well, we'll talk later. Right. Right. Hi. Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, I'm Brandon. Would you like some punch? Yes, please. <laughs> so, you're on the baseball team, right? Catcher? Right. Right. We play a little ball. You, uh, you play basketball, don't you? Red shirt of this year. Injured last year. My knee. Coach knows I can play, though. Yeah, we'll have plenty of time to rehab. We got great trainers here. Maybe we can rehab together. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Well... Thanks for the punch. Excuse me for a minute. I gotta get going. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. With looks like that, I hear she never made a beat. She's really nice. I met her last night. She works for Habitat for Humanity.
Now remember, each sorority only has to put out six bids. I'll probably get four or five bids, but I'll be a gamma, just like mom. Oh, hey Brittany, I thought I heard something out here. That's okay. I never wanted to be like mom anyway. Besides, when Brandon sees me on TV, he'll forget all about her. Hello? Brittany? Hey, Jen. We're live in 15 minutes. You're supposed to be here. You need to get over here right now. 15 minutes? I'm still getting ready. It's a new news show. It starts at noon. Okay, okay, I'm coming. No way, not me. Hi, Emily. It's Emily, yeah, right? That's me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Ooh, how cool. Say, um, have you ever been on TV before? Good afternoon, and welcome to the WEBT Noon News Brief. I'm Emily Jamison. has vowed to look into any discrepancies and a race for all employees certainly a long time coming well that's all the time we have for now for all of us here at WEDT I'm Emily Jamison have a great afternoon wow she's good she's real good And fade to black. Okay, good job, guys. I think we got ourselves a new anchor. I'm here. Where's the studio? We're done. What do you mean we're done? 
I told you, we go live at noon. <gasps> hey, Brittany, how are you? Come in. Oh, hi, Brittany. Come on in. How can I help you? Well, I've decided to expand on my voodoo project. I'm going to make it the topic of my term paper. Ah, we must have sparked a bit of intellectual curiosity. Good. I was hoping I could get some first-hand information, kind of like an interview. An interview? You know, with a real voodoo lady. Didn't you say there was one around here? Do you know where she lives? You think she would give me an interview? Well, this is not something to be taken lightly, Britt. There's a difference in voodoo in books and voodoo in real life. That's why I want to interview her. I want to find out about the real thing. Well, some people call her Lady Cleo, or used to. When I knew her, her name was Jessica. It's been close to 20 years now. Jessica was one of my better students. She was fascinated with the occult and black magic. After she graduated, she went to Haiti to work with the Peace Corps. Huh, young people did that sort of thing back then. After she was done, she came back to Wilson. She worked for the college for a while, but then she just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? Well, she went out to Brogdon to live with her aunt at the old home place. I think she used to read fortunes, read your palm, that sort of thing. But voodoo? She knows voodoo? She learned about it in Haiti? I don't know, Brittany. They say there's an old witchy woman that lives out by Brogdon. It's probably Jessica. She just sounds like a weird old lady. She's not that old. If you're really that interested, she'd probably talk to you. I'm sure you could track her down. Cool. How can I find her? Well, go out to the Brighton store and ask around. I'm sure someone knows where she lives. Great. But Brittany, sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for. Right. Thanks, Dr. Simeon. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, Brittany. Come from the college, eh? Yes. Are you Lady Cleo? <laughs> you come to get your fortune read? Yes. No, not really.
Care for a drink? No, thanks. I've been doing research for Dr. Simeon's class. I thought... Ah, Robert. How time goes by. You must be his favorite student, eh? Well, I don't know. My term paper's on voodoo, and I... Voodoo? <laughs> you didn't come out here to learn about voodoo. Did you? You came out here because you want... <laughs> you want me to cast a spell. Ah, of course. You want me to cast a spell on a girl. It's always about the other girl. Well, I... And what did this girl do to you, child? Ah, it's about a boy. The same old story. Well, it's not just about a boy. Ah, yes, the sorority. Sure you don't want one? Do you have money? What is it? I don't know why. <laughs> well, her pulse is stabilized. That Darvisette's really knocked her out. Dr. Forrest, dial 118, please. Dr. Forrest, please dial 118. Hello? Hi, Brandon. Excuse me, just a sec. I gotta take this. In the hospital? With Emily? Is she okay? Uh, the doctor don't know. She's had these back pains but uh, she's sleeping now. I'm sure she'll be fine. Have you studied for the econ test lately? Uh, no, not yet. We're gonna study, but... Well, you can come study with me. I'm sure you would enjoy it. No, no, I can't. I can't leave Emily. Hello? Ah, hello, child. No, magic takes time. You must have time. You're so young. No, you must take time. He must want you for the way you are. Take time. Hello? Hello, Robert. I was wondering when you'd call. Her voodoo is bad, very bad. She has a dark heart. I can help her. Send her to me. 
believe she's already on the way. Ha, 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 ha.